Hello, everyone. Welcome back, and thank you for joining us on the Live Unreal with Glover You podcast, where every week Jeff Glover will dive deep into the questions that you are asking. He understands the challenges you're facing on a day-to-day basis because he still works every day on the front lines of real estate with him and his team closing over 1,000 homes per year. Today, Jeff will continue the secrets of a listing-based business with secret number 14, 15, and 16, go big or go home. We'll learn from Jeff how to dominate your listing presentation and advertising. Now, let's hear from Jeff Glover. Next, I wrote down secret number 14. Update your presentation material yearly. Update your presentation material yearly. Now more than ever, your clients are judging a book by its cover. Good, bad, right or wrong, that's happening. So what are you presenting to them? Is everything just kind of scattered, loose leaf papers? Maybe you got a nice folder? Spend some time putting together professional material and then update it annually. We update ours every 12 months. Number 15, secrets of a listing-based business. I want you to go big or go home with advertising. And I'll explain what I mean, because it's not what you think. Go big or go home with advertising. Here's what I mean by go big. Go big means frequent and dominant in any space. Go big means frequency and dominance in any space. Go big or go home in advertising. Frequency and dominance in any space. For instance, let's take shopping carts. Okay, you want to own a Kroger or have shopping carts at a Kroger? Have 100% of the shopping carts at the Kroger, not 20%. Okay, I'll use radio as an example. Well, yeah, but Jeff, you're on radio. There's no room for me on the radio. There's 30 radio stations. We're on two. Go own a different one. There's plenty of radio stations to go own. Right? Stop with this sporadic spreading things out. Realtors spread things out way too much. I want dominance and frequency versus big and sporadic, right? One billboard is not going to get you phone calls if you were to choose that category. You need multiples. You have to dominate the category. Same thing goes for a farm, okay? Well, I know a lot of agents farm in this one area. Okay, well, be the agent. You can farm that area too. Just make sure you're dominant. Well, how am I dominant? Through frequency. So it doesn't have to be this big million dollar advertising spend. You can dominate a small sector. Frequency and dominance is what I mean by go big or go home. Number 16 I wrote down. Secret of a listing based business. I want you to develop four different listing presentations. I want you to develop four different listing presentations. I know what you're thinking. I'm just working on one. You got me to have four. Four. Now, here's the good news. The script on those are mostly the same. It's the way in which you deliver the information that changes. Okay, that's in relation to the four different personality styles. So, when is the last time you videotaped your listening presentation and understood what style you presented in? There's four styles, the high D, the high I, the high S, the high C. All of us are one of those four. When is the last time you looked at your presentation and said, gosh, I am for sure a high I? Well, if you're a high I, you're probably going to turn off 50% of the people that you present to. (coughs) So what are you changing or what are you doing differently during that presentation to adapt to the client? One of the things at the retreat we're going to do is cover the four styles in detail, which for most of you, if you got it, is that they're all in there. Okay, so the four styles are in there. But what we're going to do for the first time is actually put together four different presentation scripts based on those four styles. Because you, there are certain things you can say and do when you walk into a presentation to appeal to a client that might not be natural to you, might not be comfortable to you. 
Thank you for taking your time to join Jeff today on the Live Unreal with Glover U podcast. To get started on having a listing-based business, take the listing agent self-assessment. After you complete the assessment, a member of Glover U will get on a call with you to create an action plan to improve your score. Go to www.gloveru.com slash listing. If you enjoyed this episode, please subscribe. Search for Live Unreal with Glover U on iTunes, Podbean, or Spotify and subscribe today. Until next time, remember, go big means frequent and dominant in any space.